Hi, if you're wondering what's God's plan for your life, or maybe even wondering if God would use you, or even if you're at the right place for God to use you, stay on with me today as we talk about a rival character who was rightly placed by God so that he would use that person for his glory and for his work in his own time in today's Bible banter. Welcome once again to Bible Banter. It's turning out to be a great experience for me to visit each uh, different places each time. Well, last time we were at Countryside Park. Now, if you're wondering where is this, when you walk towards North Ola Fields from Greenford Roundabout, there is a way which follows or goes along with M40, and there's a beautiful walkway or path which is there, and that is a Countryside Park. If you're still wondering, Go on a Google Maps search and visit the place. It's a beautiful place. Today, I'm not far away from that place. Now, these pictures might help you just understand which place this is. Hope I get to see your comments in my comment section below. Well, as I said, today we would be talking about a Bible character who was placed by God and the place where he would use that person in his own time for his own purpose. And this character is none other than Queen Esther. Now Queen Esther was not always a queen. She was a young Jew lady who was growing up along with her cousin Mordecai who looked after her after her parents uh, passed away. Now when we are talking about the time when people of Israel were under the slavery of Persian Empire and the Persian Empire was ruled by King Xerxes. Now King Xerxes was a wealthy strong king who ruled on a large province around the globe. One day, King Xerxes arranged for a banquet for his people and he demanded then the queen of, uh, for the kingdom to come in the banquet so that people would see her and glorify uh, or praise her for her beauty. But queen did not like king's demand to come in the banquet and she denied to go to the banquet. So king ordered that queen would be taken away from his presence and all her royal privileges would be taken from her. This began a search for a new queen and as ordered by king, all young beautiful girls of the empire were asked to bring to this palace. Now all these girls when they were brought to palace, they were kept there in palace for a long duration so that they were given all the beauty treatment that was available in that time. And they were given a very royal treatment and one by one each girl would go before king and he would select a queen for himself as this was going on esther's turn came and she went before the king and as soon as king saw esther he liked her in the first glance and she was chosen to be a queen of Persia. But there was this one thing which Mordecai had told Esther not to reveal and that that she was a Jew. And king was not aware of this origin. Well, that really didn't matter at this point and she was elected as a queen, she was chosen as a queen and she started living a life as a queen. And as the time went by, she received a message from her cousin Mordecai saying that there was this one officer in king's court who was really really close to king and he has used this closeness with the king to destroy all the jewish people or all the jews in that kingdom and he had taken king's signature on this order so mordecai said to esther it is your time and it is your turn to do something for your own people but esther thought about this and she was really scared because no one was allowed to go in king's presence unless and until he asked them to be. And this was a very dangerous moment for Esther because she could not just do it. So she denied uh, when Mordecai asked her to go in king's presence. Listening to this reply of Esther, Mordecai replied to Esther saying, Who knows? Maybe God has placed you here today in that place because he wants you to do something for your own people. When Esther heard this reply from Mordecai, she replied to Mordecai saying, okay, let's do one thing. 
Let us all fast together. So she requested to Mordecai that please ask all the Jews to fast and pray for me and that I will also do the same thing for a few days. And once this duration is over, I will go in king's court and talk to him. So every Jew person in a kingdom did as Esther had asked them to do. So everybody fasted and prayed for Esther. And after the duration was over, Queen Esther gathered all her courage with God's support. She went into king's court and requested him to come for her banquet. Interestingly, king did not get angry seeing Esther in her court without his orders. But he accepted her request because he really loved her. She also requested if she can bring this officer from her court whose name was Nama Haman to come along with him. So king and Haman went to queen's banquet. While they were there, queen revealed king that she belongs to to this people of Jew and Haman is trying to kill all her people. When king heard that, king ordered that Haman should be taken away from his presence and Haman was taken away and all his royal privileges were even taken away. Now what is that we learn from this? Remember Esther was a small little girl who went on to become queen and who went on to risk her life to save her people. Now friends, it is important to know that God always, always has planned for his people. Secondly, it is important when God wants us to work for him, he will make sure that he would help us, he would guide us and he would lead us in his own ways. It is also important to remember that we are never alone. And finally, in order to do things for the Lord, it is important that we gather strength that comes from the Lord, pray and move on to do what He wants us to do. Well, it's a trivia time. Last time I asked two questions. And the questions were, how many Josephs, apart from the Joseph that we spoke about, we find in the Bible? There are in total three Josephs in the Bible. Joseph from the Old Testament that we spoke about, Joseph, the father of Jesus, and Joseph of Arimathea. Now this Joseph was the one who gave his empty tomb so that Christ would be buried there. The other question that I asked was, what was Joseph's other name given in the Bible? The other name given to Joseph in Bible is Zaphaneth Paniha. This was given to him by uh, Pharaoh when he was an Egyptian official. And this can be found in Genesis 41-45. Questions for today. How many times do we find the name God? in the book of Esther and what does the name Esther means. I hope these videos are a source of blessing to you. If you are being blessed by these videos, please do let us know in our comment sections below. If you have any queries or any questions about anything that we have spoken in this video, please do not hesitate to get in touch with us and we would be more than happy to answer uh, any queries that you have. May God be with you and bless you.